Grieve not at every grave you see in the Texas State Cemetery. Some are vacant, like this one where a headstone has been erected for Mike Levy, former publisher of Texas Monthly, who is still very much alive and very much Levy. You're going to do it. I'm going to do it. So that, so you're assuming you're going to be buried face up? Uh, that's the way it usually is. I'm not... Comfy? Uh, yeah. Especially when you consider that Jews get buried in a pine box with no nails. And I have a feeling that's going to be much, uh, firmer. Why do you uh, have your stone up here already? Okay, there's two reasons. Number one, it's a big honor. But the biggest reason, uh, I told you about Damien Pryor. I Damien Pryor was an Austin artist and a longtime Levy friend. The two of them had been working together on Levy's headstone when Pryor died of cancer in 2011. Working with the design they had been working on, Pryor's son JJ and a former Pryor assistant completed the stone for Levy, which was installed here in 2013. It's what, what's, what, it actually gives me great joy to see the work of a great friend. That's it's not about me being here. It really is about Damien. About one section over in the state cemetery, former state representative and famed Roe versus Wade attorney Sarah Weddington of Austin also has her pre-need monument in place. The obvious question is, is it weird seeing your own tombstone? No, I really like it because... Um, that way my family doesn't have to worry about what would I like, what would I not like. I got it just the way I want it. Like, I want, like nobody would have thought to make this uh, sort of shape of a woman from the side here, except me. And I really like that part of it. But you've left the back blank on purpose. Uh-huh. So I can put uh, various, you know, uh, future accomplishments on the back here and then the dates can be put on the front see uh, barbara jordan's right there mm -hmm. and ann is down in front of us a little bit to the left Kay bailey hutchison is right back there it's understandable that some visitors uh, mistakenly think that where there's a headstone there's somebody under it it's an old jewish tradition of when you go to a cemetery you put a stone on the grave as a So do you think someone left it there thinking you're already uh, here on a permanent basis? I don't know. It may it may have been wishful thinking, Kent. Oh.